Linda Barnes is taking your calls at 270-9933. Good to see you. Good Beautiful to see day you. today. Beautiful Chilly day. Chilly weekend, but we've got a, quite a variety here. Well, I, it is that time of year where there's lots of annuals to select from. So I just brought a, a slight selection of herbs also, because remember to get those planted in the ground, basil and dill, and I have some lemon thyme. But then I also have some sort of interesting plants. There's this little tom thumb, oriental spruce. That's the new growth on oh, it. Really? Isn't that a cute little yes. plant? And it will be hardy outside, or you can use it um, in a... In a uh, setting where you're going to actually use it as a topiary type situation. It doesn't get real big very fast. That's good. Yes. All right, let's, let's go to the phones. We'll start with Pat in Sun Prairie. Hi, Pat. Hi. Hi, which question? Um, I have an azalea that, that I bought to plant, and I didn't get it planted before it blossomed out fully. Mm -hmm. Do I have to wait for the blossoms to disappear before I can transplant it? No, I think um, you're, it's in a container right now, Judy, right? You just right. Need to get, it, get it in the ground. It's, it's probably going to be the best that, that uh, you can for that plant because it, um, we want to do this before we get really hot weather again and we have a nice break. Yeah, good time. All right, let's go to Judy in Cross Plains. Hi, Judy. Hi. Hi. Which question? Uh, I've got a question about a braided hibiscus that I received as a gift. And it seems like it's it's all almost dying. It's losing leaves every day, and okay. all the buds fell off. What am I doing wrong with it? Well, those plants don't like to get dry between waterings, so make sure that you're watering it adequately. adequately. And maybe it's extremely root-bound, because sometimes when you purchase them and they've been growing in a gre greenhouse, it's time for them to be moved into a little larger pot. And this time of the year, move that hibiscus outside. It's going to perform much better. We checked, make sure it's not root-bound. Not root-bound, yes. All right, Betty in Madison. Hi, Betty. Hi. Um, I have an orchid, and I, I know it's an inside plant here, but anyway, um, it had two stems, and it was just loaded with flowers. There were at least a dozen on both stems, and then like um, for like three months it was unchanged. And um, anyway, like three days ago, it just, the one one um, stem, mm -hmm. one of the two, it, the, they, they just start, the, fl the flowers just fell off. Well, after three months, <laughs> that's, that's about the extent that, you, and sometimes it happens that, that rapidly. So the flowers are going to drop. If the stems are still green, don't cut them off because they may send another shoot. But orchids are amazing. Same thing happened to me. They all fell off at once, but the stems turn brown. Oh, so they did. Cut if, those off. Yes, if they're brown, Done. All right. Yeah, that's amazing. It's all poof. It's all at once. <laughs> all right, let's go to uh, Carrie in Madison. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Hi, Hi. which question? My question is about a very old Christmas cactus, probably 40 years old. It was my mother's. Uh -huh. And uh, maybe seven years ago, a philodendron that was hanging over it took root in it. <laughs> and that's not the problem. They're coexisting. <laughs> but the Christmas cactus is losing pieces of of its, I don't know what you call it, the, you know, the green, they're dropping off kind of rapidly, and I don't know if it needs repotting or if it's just come to the end of its life, or... Well, okay, what? be careful. Sometimes when that starts to happen, people start to change their pattern. What, if that plant has been around with you that long, continue to water it at the same rate that you have been, and some droppage may be occurring as long as the, the major stems don't. But they can live a long, long, long time. They can live a tremendously long time. All right, let's go to Sonia in Lake Mills. How about your question? Hi, um, I was recently informed that there is going to be construction, road construction on my property next summer in 2019. Okay. And along my frontage, I have a variety of bulbs, um, irises, daffodils, I have currants, I have heuchera, I have just all kinds of plants that are going to be dug up. Okay. Um, when is the best time to transplant these? And how should I handle this situation? Well, I would, since this sounds like you have a lot of plants to move, start transplanting them at, at this time. And you, you could wait until fall if you, if, you, if you have enough time to do it all at one time. Because if, if you transplant them now, you're going to have to keep them watered through the summer. But the bulbs, if the, if the leaves are still there, dig those up and move those to a location that you're going to keep them in. Yeah. And you know where they are because they're still at the that's, that's right. All right, we're out of time. If you stay there, Linda, we'll talk to you off the air. We'll see you in a couple weeks. All right.